Are people who trust only the King James Bible actually the members of some kind of cult? Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. What kind of cult is it where a leader encourages the people to read a 400 year old book and to think for themselves and to judge everybody by the words of that book, including any leader? What kind of cult is it where the book is unchanged, unmodified, and open to inspection or introspection by every single prayerful reader? Where faith is placed in the book and its words over every man, woman, and child, regardless of reputation? But, what kind of cult is it where a leader tells the people they must read his books and interpret everything the way he sees it and must only read or trust for now what receives his or his friend's endorsement? What kind of cult is it where the book must be constantly reinterpreted by a leader and doubts are placed in the book itself and the people are left in a state of perpetual unknowing and lack of assurance, except that they trust X or Y scholar. The first group arises from trusting the King James Bible as God's preserved words. The second group arises from any group of men that urges you to doubt the words of the King James Bible and in its place put their words. They don't even place a Bible in the King James Bible's place because they do not trust any Bible as actually being the one that fulfills God's promise to preserve his own words. It comes down to where you decide to place your faith. Scenario one, you trust that God kept his promise. And he preserved his words in a book that you can hold in your hands and you place your faith in his book and you doubt everyone else, including yourself, in comparison to his words. Or scenario two, you trust a scholar or friend or priest to tell you about what God said and you place your faith in him or her or them. And you doubt that God kept his promise to preserve his words. And you doubt that God's words are preserved anywhere. And definitely not in the Bible that you hold in your hands. I've been in cults and religions. The closest thing to trusting the scholars over the King James or, or any Bible is Mormonism. The 14 fundamentals in following the prophet by Apostle Ezra Taft Benson said the later writings overrode the previous writings. So the Book of Mormon overrode the Bible. The Doctrine and Covenants overrode the Book of Mormon and the Bible. The Pearl of Great Price overrode the Doctrine and Covenants, the Book of Mormon, and the Bible. The prophets overrode the books. And the living prophet overrides the dead prophets and the books. That is no different from what people are told, the people who are told they must trust the most modern scholars because everything that went before was inferior. The people who are told, trust the book that God gave us, and only that book, are saved from every bit of that. So tell me, who is really a cult leader? And which belief system is really cult-like? I was a Mormon for four years. And I trust the King James Bible over anyone else, including myself. You make your own choice. But 
Just don't call people names without thinking it out for yourself. Because merely repeating another's words is rather cult-like, don't you think? God bless you and have a wonderful day.